what's up guys Ryan here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make an iris box so this is a modular it takes eight pieces of paper um four modules for the bottom box and four for the top this specific one that I made has two plain modules and two the pink one the blue ones are plain the pink ones are the uh, lily modules and put it together you get this awesome top the flowers are not glued on they are a part of the actual box uh, this is by uh, Tomoko Fuse Fuse A Fusi. I don't know how to pronounce that but anyway uh, I'm gonna be using this book fabulous origami boxes it's a really really great uh, modular origami box book and I'd highly recommend you get it but anyway, I'm doing this. I'm specifically doing a modular model because uh, one of my Patreons, Jenny, uh, wanted a modular tutorial, so figured why not? So anyway, without further ado, let me show you how to make this awesome modular lily box. All right guys, first we are going to make the four top modules. Um, I'm going to be making two plain ones and two iris ones. So both the plain and the iris for the next 10 steps are exactly the same. Um, so first we are going to fold it in half and make a, but don't crease it all the way through. Just make a marker crease on the left side like that. All right, and then make another marker crease right here by folding the bottom to the crease we just made. Again, don't fold it all the way through, just make a little marker crease on the left side. Okay, now we're gonna fold the top. We're gonna take the top edge and fold it to the crease we just made. Um, and fold it, don't crease all the way through, crease to about the center. Okay, uh, now we're gonna fold it top right corner to the bottom left corner and unfold. Okay. Now take the top left corner and fold it along, uh, fold, fold the top left corner to this intersection point right here. So where this diagonal intersects this crease. All right, so we've got this. Now we are going to fold this edge along this edge. Like that. Okay. Uh, now we're going to fold, yeah, we're gonna fold this, this corner to this point right here, where this where this uh, crease intersects this edge. All right, so we have this, and now we are going to fold this edge along. Uh, line this edge up with this edge. So at this point, your paper should look something like this. 
Uh, now unfold this bottom triangle. Keep the other two, the other three uh, folded in. And we are going to fold this point to this point. Okay. Uh, now take this top edge and fold it to this crease and unfold. Now we are going to, now we're gonna fold this corner to here, this corner to here and unfold both. Crease is already there. We're just, uh, we're just strengthening, strengthening it. Folding through all the layers. Okay, so, and now just, now unfold the entire thing. So we've got this. Now do this to the other three papers, to the other three top modules, um, because they're all the same, regardless of whether it's a plain module or an iris module. So I'm gonna do that three more times. All right, so now we're going, I'm going to show you how to fold uh, the iris, the iris module, uh, the top module with the iris, yeah. So first, Start the same orientation, and we're going to take this right tri <clears throat> the right triangle and fold it over using the crease that's already here. Now take this, uh, this bottom flap and using this crease that's already here, fold it up like that. Now we're going to take this triangle and fold, well, okay, this we're gonna take this edge and fold it along this crease. Like that, and unfold. So now we've got this. Uh, flip it over. And yeah, now we're going to, now we're gonna take this edge and fold it up and the crease that's made so this edge is going to be stay flush with this edge and the crease that's made is going to intersect that point right here this intersection point so the fold looks like this crease all the way across all right so we have that and now flip it back over So now we're going to take now we're going to take this entire this entire right side and fold it behind using this vertical crease right here. Like that. All right. All right. Now we are going to we're going to take this top triangle thing A better way of explaining it, we're going to take this right edge and fold it along, and we're going to fold it along this crease. So that's going to look like this. Paper gets kind of thick here, but it's not a big deal. All right. So again, the fold is like that. All right. Sorry, I'm just I'm just reading the diagram, making sure I making sure I got it right. Now we are going to basically fold it again like this, but when we're folding it down, we're actually going to take we're going to take this paper and shove it shove it down here. So that's going to look like this.
So if you missed that, I'm gonna do it again. Basically, we're doing this, but while we're doing this, we're, we're putting this paper into this pocket, okay? So I'll, I'll try to do it slower. It'll look like this. All right. Now we're going to take, we're gonna take this flap and fold it over to the right using this crease. It's not gonna lay flat, so just don't squish it. It's gonna look like this. Obviously, this part does not lay flat yet. To make it lay flat, um, we're going to first take this upper part and fold it down using the crease that's already there. And now just you can just uh, start from the top and flatten the rest of it. But hopefully neater than I did because because uh, this edge this edge should be flush with this edge so look like that. There we go. Okay. Looking good. So now we are going to, we're going to, we're going to take this flap. We have this flap and we're going to, we're going to squash it. We're going to open it up like that and flatten it. It's a little messy. I'm going to fix it really quick. There we go. Okay. So now we have this square. Um, fold the square in half, <laughs> fold this square like, so edge to edge and edge to edge. So like this and unfold both. Okay. Um, and now we are going to collapse the square. So that's going to look like this, the, the diagonals should be mountain folded like this and well really just this diagonal should be mountain folded and we just valley folded the horizontals now to collapse it we just do this it's hard to explain with words but I can just show you looks like that so you start with this and it collapses like this All right, and that, <clears throat> that is how you do it. Um, let's keep going. So with this, with this, like with this square that we just, that we just collapsed, it's, it's kind of like a primary base. We can use this to create the iris. So let's do that right now. Um, So this is, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have four flaps. We got this flap, this flap, this flap, and this flap. Um, make sure, make sure you have those four. <laughs> it's important. We are going to first. First, we're going to fold, let's, let's flip it over. Let's flip it over. So yeah, now we're going to, um, we're going to take this flap, just one of them. I'm going to take the middle one, one of the middle ones and open it up and squash it like this. All right. It'll look, it'll look like that. And I'll show you. Yeah, and you're gonna do it four more, three more times. So I'll show you three more times. So again, you have you have the you have the flap, 
Just just open it up. Like this. And uh, and flatten it. The the center center crease should line up with the the center. Um, so now the two, the two center flaps have been, have been uh, flattened, and it looks like this. I have these, these two flaps on the left and these two flaps on the right, and then there's the bigger flap here, and the bigger flap here. Now I'm gonna shift. I'm gonna shift these two flaps over to the left and work with this bigger flap, and again I'm going to I'm gonna open it up and. And uh, flatten it. This one, the paper is like doubled up, but that it's supposed to be like that. It's okay. So flatten it like that. Now I'm going to shift the flaps over like this. So one over, two, three, four, five. So now all the flaps are on the right except this big flap. So let's do the last big flap. Open it up and flatten it. Like that. Okay, and now I'm going to shift the flaps over so there's an even amount of flaps on each side. Like that. Is there an even amount? Yeah, there is. Okay, so. Um, next step. I'm going to shift this flap over one. So now we have we have this. We're working with this uh, triangle with the two white triangles at the top. Um, we're going to uh, let's break this up into three steps. We're going to take this edge, just this top right edge, and uh, fold it to the center like this. And we're going to take this top left edge and do the same thing. Fold it to the center. And unfold both, obviously. All right, so now we have those two folds, and now we're going to take this edge, fold it down uh, towards this point. The crease that's made um, should be should intersect this point and this point, or it's easier to show this point and this point. Okay, so we fold this down. See how the crease is from here to here? But the only way to make it flat is if we bring the right edge and the left edge to the center using the creases we made previously. You get that. Okay. Now I'll do it a couple more times for you. Oh, and one more thing. Now take this triangle and fold it up. Now there's three more places we can do this. We can do it, we can do, so those last four steps. We can do it here, we can do it here, and we can do it here, okay? So let's do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the far left one first. The top right edge, fold it to the center and unfold. You guys see this? Let me zoom in. Yeah, that should be better. Okay. Um. Now take the top left, uh, top left edge, and fold it to the center. Unfold both. Now take, now take this edge, fold it down. Now remember, this edge is, it's not just this edge, it's also this inner thing. The, the paper's doubled up for the far left and far right flaps. But anyway, we're going to take this edge and fold it down while simultaneously folding the right and left edges in. And it'll look like this. 
And finally, fold this triangle up. All right, so this one's good. This one's good. Let's do the second inner inner one. So again, fold the top two. Pull the dot two edges in, unfold, pull the center edge down. That will cause the outer edges to fold inward. And then fold the triangle up. One more left, and I'm showing this four times because it's kind of a tricky step if you don't know you don't know what you're doing or if you've never done it before so I'm just, just gonna do the more just going to do this one more time you can always fast forward to when I when I'm done obviously it's a YouTube video and then fold the triangle up. All right, and now I'm going to again get an equal amount of flaps paper on both sides. All right, it's gonna look like this. Now we are going to, so let's work. So now we're gonna get it, get it to the point, get it to this uh, flat diamond and fold the bottom left and bottom right edges into the center. And, and we can do that we can do that three more times or no two more times two more times I think. not actually sure hold on let's, let's figure it out so now I'm gonna do it to this one so I just uh, folded this edge over and this edge over now I can do it here papers a little bit thicker on the left side but I don't think it'll be thicker on the right side yeah. All right, now I'm gonna fold this edge over and this edge over, kind of. Oh, I can't really, the paper's getting thick, but I believe you can, oh, that's out of camera, sorry. So um, all the way left, you've got, you've got this, you've got this edge. Yeah, you should be able to, it's kind of like half of the diamond thing we're folding in, so fold this, fold this in like that okay so now let's fold let's fold the flaps back over so one two three four okay four so this is back to center um there's Well, there's only three flaps on this side. Oh, so that <laughs> that's not back to center. This is back to center, my bad. So, should be four flaps, four flaps on each side. So I'm gonna fold this one over and this one over. So now we can fold these two edges in. Sorry if this is a little bit to follow, but th th sorry if this is a little hard to follow, but um, the general pattern is just to fold the bottom edges in for all the bottom edges. Anyway, one more left. So if you fold this over, you've got um, you got this edge that we need to fold behind, similar to how we did it on the other side. This is kind of difficult, but because the paper is getting so so thick, you should be able to do it. Right, and now let's fold three edges over. One, two, three. So there's, again, an even amount on each side. Um, 
yeah so this is basically the basically the lily the only thing left we have to do is curve out the petals so then this is the best part so this is a petal this is a petal and this is a petal did I, if I said lily oh is it a lily or an iris it's a lily. I think I called it an iris earlier. I, I don't know. Whatever. It's a flower. Oh, my tip for curling these. You want to curl it past the point where you want it, and then the paper will, like, go back a little bit. Unfold itself a little bit to the point where you wanted it. Um, so... Should look like something like this or really however you want it but so let's uh let's flip it over now so you should have this okay i'm gonna zoom out a little bit okay and now all we do is i'm gonna rotate the paper like this so this, this is going to be a side, and this is going to be a side. So we can kind of just open it up like this. And I'm just making the creases firmer. All right, so it'll look like this. So this is the, this is the Lily top module. And I'm gonna make one more of these, and then I'll put the two plane modules and the two lily modules together. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you how to make the two plane box modules. Or, I mean, it might not be two for you, but for me, it's gonna be the, the two plane box modules. So, mine's gonna look, <laughs> my paper should look a little different to yours because I, uh, did the wrong steps because these diagrams are kind of hard to follow. But anyway, you won't make that mistake because I will edit the video so you don't. But so we're gonna we're going to start with this. This is going to be um, we, we folded four of these. This this is what that is. Um, so we're actually going to do the first seven steps of of the uh, the Lily module, but I'm gonna show you again. So fold this right triangle over, fold this bottom flap up using this crease, fold this triangle in. So this edge lines up with this crease like that and unfold. Now flip it over and we're going to well hold on i'm going to flip it back over so you have the you're going to have this crease but i don't think you're going to be able to see it on this side but using we're going to mountain fold this crease so when we flip it over it's going to be we're going to be valley folding like this so um we're going to be valley folding the whole bottom the whole bottom flap the whole bottom edge up this using using this crease that I already showed you and unfold now we're gonna fold this entire uh, right half behind okay uh, now we're gonna align this right edge with this crease like this The paper's pretty thick, but it should be fine. And then unfold. Um, now we're going to basically do the same thing, but we're going to fold it while while we fold this down. We're gonna we're gonna put this paper. We're gonna fold this paper down down into this uh, pocket, so it'll look like this. Like that. All right. 
And now, um, so now, now we have this. So this is the first seven steps of this. Okay. Now we're going to do, um, we're going to branch off into different steps to make it a plain top instead of, instead of a lily. So we have this, we're going to flip it over. We're going to fold this corner in uh, using the crease that's already there and uh, this corner in like that. So you should have this. Now we're gonna we're gonna take this triangle at this point and fold it to this point. Like that. Okay, and so now we're going to take this this triangle, this entire triangle, and fold it in and unfold. Now we're going to open this up. This right here is going to be a side. This is going to be a side. And this is going to be the top. So if we open it up, we kind of form it. This is what you get. So this is the top. This is a side. This is a side. And yeah, and this is going to be like a flap so it locks in better. Okay, so this is the plain top module. I'm going to make it again. Okay, so now we have, I have, maybe you don't have, but I personally have two plain top modules and two lily top modules. Uh, now I'm gonna put them together. So it is pretty straightforward to be completely honest. Um, so this, why does this? No, yeah, that's what it should look like, whatever. Okay, so basically this is how they go together if you had like x-ray vision, um, like this. So let's try to do that. So see how, see how this triangle goes like this. And now I'm going to close it back up. There we go, and um, so that's how you put that's how you put the plane module into into another like, like that. Now I'm going to put the Lily module into a plane module, and this is a lot easier, significantly easier. Um, you've got this little triangle thing, this little triangle thing. This that triangle will end up here. It'll end up on this side, not this side. It'll end up on this side. So let's do that. It's hard to tell if it's in the right spot, but here, let's, let's make sure. So you can open it up and just set it there. And you can see, you can see when I close it back up, it's going to be, this triangle is going to be in the correct place. And to close it back up, you just, you just put this paper down in there. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now we're going to do the last piece. So let's do the harder one first, which is plain into Lily. Um, I, yeah, I found that just opening it up like this and Setting it in here and then closing it back up is easier than trying to slide it into place. It's probably not going to look right until 
um, I do the last one, but this is this is pretty good right now. It's not completely in, but now I'm gonna slide this one in. I'm gonna try to open it up. Yeah, yeah, I can still open it up. Makes it a lot easier to lock into place. Now, of course, this one's coming undone. <laughs> Consider uh, gluing it <laughs> as you're putting them, to, uh, them together, then they won't slide out as you try to do the final one. I think, dare I say, I think I think I got it. Alright guys, so that's how, you, that's how you put it, that's how you put the top together. Um, like that. Now I've got the back-to-back -back lilies. Maybe, oops. Maybe you could put like two in the corner, or just one, and then three plain, or just four. That would be cool too. But, oops. But yeah, I'd highly recommend gluing this. Um, yeah. So that's how you put together the top. All right. So now I'm going to I'm going to show you how to make the bottom uh, the bottom module, and we're going to do this four times. Okay. So we're going to make four of these. Lights that up. We're gonna fold the bottom edge to the top edge. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Bottom edge to the top edge. So now we're gonna we're gonna unfold unfold the last step and now take the top edge the top flap of the top edge and fold it down so we've got this uh, now we're gonna take the top corner of the bottom left and the and the corner of the top left and fold them Fold them in like this. Alright, it'll look like this. Now we're gonna rotate it 180. Okay, and we're going to we're gonna take this bottom edge. We're gonna take this bottom edge and align it with with this with this edge. Well, two edges sort of. So that'll look like this. Okay. Now unfold that. Unfold this corner and unfold this corner. So we're here. Okay, now we're going to, we're gonna make a crease. We're gonna fold it. We're gonna fold, how can I explain this? We're gonna fold this edge to we're, to uh, to the right, and the crease is gonna intersect this point right here, this intersection point. This is not folding the paper in half. We are not folding the paper in half. Even though it looks like it. Okay, so it'll look like this and we unfold. So see how the crease goes through that point? All right, now, now we are going to, we're going to do this. Take this top, uh, take the top edge, take the top flap, sorry. And mount and mountain fold, mountain fold the crease we just made. So I'm just gonna unfold it really quick. So we're making this a mountain fold. I want to put it back. Now we want to make this a mountain fold. This mountain fold. 
So this is a mountain fold from here to here, and here to here we want to make a mountain fold. You'll see why soon. So basically we're just reversing the crease. And now I'm going to put it back. So now this is a mountain fold and this is a mountain fold. And that'll make the next step really easy. So we're going to take, we're going to put this mountain fold, we're going to line it up with this center edge. And this crease, and it's going to form, well, it's going to, this, this crease is needed, but it's already here for the top. So we can just do that. And it's going to not lay flat. We're just going to keep it like this. I want to do the same thing for the bottom, but this diagonal crease isn't here. So we're going to have to create it. Um, actually, we can create it right now before before we actually do the fold. So I'm going to line this edge up, this uh, crease up with this center edge like this. And create this crease. Okay, so I just created this crease. Now, now we can do the same thing we did on the top. So just, just shift this uh, mountain fold to the center like this and do the same thing. So shift this mountain fold to the center. Okay. And now I, with my left hand, <clears throat> with my left hand, I'm holding down uh, this triangle and this triangle. And with my right hand, I'm going to. I'm gonna shape this into kind of like a two two sides. Um, okay, and now I'm pretty sure to finish this, we just we just take take this side and fold it down, and we're gonna take this flap, fold it down. Now we have the now we have the bottom of the module and one side and two sides okay so that's and we're done this is the entire this is this is it for for the bottom box module uh so i'm gonna make three more of these all right so once you have the four bottom modules uh we can put them together So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's put this one into this one. So basically this and this goes into this and this. So let's just do it. It's pretty simple. So you get this like that. But to, to finish it up, this triangle folds under like that into into this pocket and if you flip it over this triangle folds under into this pocket like that and that locks the base up pretty well so let's let's put the other ones in Cool, and that so that's the bottom box, and now the lid fits right on it like that. So guys, this is the uh, lily box. I hope you guys were able to do this. Um, this is a pretty cool modular. It's a little bit harder than your average one, but um, it's definitely worth it. It's, it's it's a really really cool really cool modular so guys thank you so much for watching through this entire tutorial I really hope you were able to finish it if you did I'd love to see it on my uh, on my Facebook page so just post pictures of it but yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one